Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, this is a nice little trick. It's by Larry Jennings, and it's called Visitor. Um, I was asked to do a show trick by Larry Jennings by um, Jalen Gardner, so here we go, I'll do this one. Visitor. Right, you start off, we need four cards, right? And it is a bit of a setup. Look, my little lady, Queen of Spades. Right, Queen of Spades, and here, mate, the Queen of Clubs. And the Queen of Diamonds and her mate, the Queen of Hearts. Okay. Now, out of these two pairs of ladies, the redheads or the brunettes, which ones do you want to perform the magic? Today. We have, yeah. Video's going to go on long enough. You want the black ones. Okay. So the black ones are going to perform the magic, but the red ones need to do something for the magic to happen. They do. We need you to pick a card. So any card you'd like. Was that too quick? Sorry, I'll go a little bit slower. And no, I'm not trying to force one from the top. Or am I double bluffing to get you to take one from the bottom? We don't know, because I'm not telling you. What card did you pick? The Four of Clubs, right? Now, if you were here, I'll give you, give you that to hold on to, so I don't do nothing shady. To make sure I'm not doing anything shady, I'm just going to leave your four sticking out of the pack like that. We'll stick the Queen of Hearts there. Oh, we'll stick the Queen of Diamonds there. And I will stick your four upside down, right in the middle. Just like that. Right? So your card is now sandwiched between the two red queens. Which we'll just put down there for a minute. While we cut the deck in half. And I'll pick them back up again. And put them onto this deck. And we'll cut them into the middle to get them lost. The two red queens with your card, right? Now, you wanted the black queens here to do the magic. Well, queen of clubs and the queen of spades. You just give a little click. They get a visitor. Look at that. In between the two queens now is your card. The four of spades, four of clubs. Look at that, I'm going colorblind. I did say he was a visitor, because with just another little click like that, we turn it over, we'll see that all we've got is the two black queens with not an in between them, and not stuck to the back, no. And why is that? Because he was a visitor, because you did see right near the start, I put the two red queens into that packet with your card in between, and hopefully your card should still be in between. And just to show it's all nice and fair, look, you can look at them. You won't see another four of clubs in there. I'll move them two queens onto there and I'll spread these ones in a downward motion from there. So you can now see that there's no four of clubs in that one either. There's the four of spades, but that doesn't really count. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Maybe in a minute with the tutorial. Different camera angle, you see. I've got to set it up. Right, change the camera angle as you can see. Right, to do this, you need four, I've got five cards there, you need four queens, right? And have them set up, spade, club, diamond, hearts, right? Good reason for that. If you notice on the spade, she's black down there. The club, she's black down there. The diamond, that's red. But the heart is black, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't look stand out as much as that when you see it's sticking out because you're going to see that soon right now that looks like it's a, a red card whereas if you had that one and i cover that up you'd think it was a black card right so just a little tip spade clubs diamonds hearts show them off got the spade got the club put them down got the diamond got the heart oh and in the bottom corner of your heart Put a crimp, very important, will be needed later on. Pick the packet up. Ask your spectator which packet do they want to do the miracle. And while you're asking them that, you're just going to push off, pull back and catch yourself a pinky break. Right? Whatever one they say, you want to put the red ones up here. So, you take the, you take the two red ones, square them onto the packet, pick up from the break. And then you're sliding the Queen of Hearts off. And causing a sandwich with an indifferent card. Put your finger on the on the two of them. Put them onto the table. 
drop, drop, and then pick your finger up, save them two cards, splitting. Get your spectator to pick a card, and it's a free choice. It makes no difference what card they pick. They've picked the King of Spades. Ooh, I'm getting jealous. That's here, fella, and my little queenie. Ooh. Right, while they're looking at their card, very carefully, and yeah, I'm just going to split them, very carefully pick these cards back up again, right, without them splitting. Peel off the Queen of Hearts up there so she's out jogged. Get them then to put their card square on top of the t on top of the deck, and you put the Queen of Diamonds down there so it's out jogged on the bottom. Because now you're going to push it all together, but as you're doing it, you're just going to pull up on the Queen and the indifferent cards, the Queen of Diamonds, sorry, and the indifferent cards, so you catch a break. Okay, and you're just going to pick them two cards up. And put them down as if they're the two queens and their card. Otherwise, they'd see you're the queen there, wouldn't they? Yeah. If you only took something, yeah. You get what I'm talking about. Um, in fact, once you've picked them up, ask your spectator. I couldn't do it. I didn't have a spectator with hands. Ask your spectator to cut the packet off like that. Making sure that they don't spread that top card. So keep the pack squared as they... Pick up a chunk, keep hold of it like that. Then you just put them two cards onto the top, drop the bottom card, so you're dropping the indifferent card onto there. Keep a break underneath your queen. Double undercut the queen to the bottom, right? Put that packet down. Pick this packet up, don't forget you've got, um, or take this packet off the spectator, sorry. You've got their card, and the Queen of Hearts with its crimp, right? Make sure they don't split. Pick these two up, put the Queen of Spades out jogging the top, put the Queen of Clubs square with the packet. Then you're just doing, I've got about 90,000 cards there. You're just picking up at your crimp, at the crimp, thank you, and turning them over, so it looks like it's just a queen, the two queens you've turned over, and you're pushing that in. Then you go into whatever talk you want to about it being a visitor. Out jog their card. Move these fingers to that corner. Because you don't want to turn it over and show that index. You want your fingers covering it. So when you turn it over, you can go, there's your card. And you can turn it over and they'll see what looks like the two black queens. Because of the black part there. Yeah, that's why you had them disorder. Hey, hey. Some sense in me at all. Well, at last. So you show their card is between the two black queens. And while you're doing that, you're then pushing across and catching a pinky break on that card. So when you put the cards onto the packet and you square everything up, you're keeping a break then underneath four cards, which you then turn over and take off the top two cards to show that there's nothing in there. And while they're examining them, you casually pick that up and put it onto the top, just put them down, and carry on showing that you know, there's absolutely nothing dodgy with them cards. And that the card that was there was only a mirage or something, because they did see you putting the two red queens into the middle of the packet with their card in between them near the start. If you want a bigger impact, get them to sign their card and then they'll see their card signed in both places. Yeah, but you'd have to do a signature near the top. Mind you, across the top for when you're showing your black card and your red card with their card in there. You go, there's your card and you can see that signature. Well, you could work that one out yourself, couldn't you? Anyway. There you go. Um, I hope that one was good enough for you, Jalen. Um, thank you very much for watching, all you people up there. Look, I'm, oh, I'm pointing at myself. Hey. Uh, thank you very much for watching, as I said. I can't get used to this camera angle. I will see you again soon.